Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you some updates I've made to Domo Animate. First update being that Domo Animate is no longer linked to go WDBK because a user who goes by the name of Resolution 909, like 909, I believe Resolution 909, do we have Domo Animate from go WDBK because of that? I had to make a separate double anime version. Luckily, fonts work on it now. So, the update link is double anime dot joseph myers anime dot repo dot co. If you go to that, it, it will now redirect you to the studio where you can create your first animation. So, there you go, folks. Your very maker worlds. Here's the video maker. We've got it too. So yeah, you can add really any character you like. You can have it do anything. No assets required. So this was pretty much an easy project to get done. And guys, good news fonts has been fixed. So now we click on any of these. And we'll try to roll the font instead of just being stuck there. We have to use the preview thing to get something to come up here and then delete the font and have the font again and then this will come up. Yeah, I, I didn't want you guys to have to do that again. But thankfully, that has been fixed in this wing. So now you guys don't have to do that anymore. You can really just add. The text bubbles you want. You can really have it say any text you like. So, yeah, there you go. And also, I have to do something about the Powered by GoAnimate thing. Replace that with Powered by GoWDBK or something. So, yeah, that's what I have to do. Sorry about that, MKM is just calling me, but we'll just ignore that. So anyway, here is GoWDBK's Discord server. I added a Discord server link here. And then I added community forms, which is using GoWDBK's community forms. And then added the actual GoWDBK itself. That way, some of you won't be confused. Like, because right now, this remake of Double Hammond was is powered by GoWDBK. So, yeah, there you go. And also, I got rid of the side buttons because we didn't need them. So, yeah. And also screenshots have been fixed. So let's say if you want to take a screenshot now, your video won't be able to update. Instead, it will just download a zip file. It will take a bit, but your zip file is downloaded containing the exact same screenshot which has a file name as screen.jpg. Click on it and it will load in the actual screenshot. So there you go, guys. Screenshots have been fixed now. I'm not sure how screenshots will work originally, but we created it was definitely worth it, folks. So, yeah. And also, your dollar and character would take a bit to add sometimes, but it's not really a big deal, folks. You can make a video just like how you would do back in Double Animate. So, yeah. There you go. You can also use this in school too, because Webwood, this, after testing, I found out that Webwood is not blocked by my school's firewall. So, you, ba you can basically just use Double Animate from here. 
You can write Koi anywhere you want. You just need an older browser. That's all you would need. And you can get this thing up in one in seconds. You can even use a touch screen to create a video. Look at that. You can use a touch screen to make a video in seconds, bro. So yeah, that's what I like about these older LVMs. You can use a touch screen to make a single video in seconds. I like that. So yeah, and also you can use your music to make the video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of you know that by now. I'm just saying if you, if some of you are new to this and didn't, yeah, and like, don't know how to use really for 2010 LVM. So, yeah. So, I gotta say, folks, we hope you all like this new Double M8 Studio. And, yeah, hope you all like it. This took time to work on. I'll have to fix my new animation bug at some point, but... Yeah, for some reason, it's just not doing what I'm supposed to do. So, yeah, thank you all for watching this introduction video today, folks. And still, you have to do tags and all that in your video. But still, I think anyone who remembers Star Wars Image should remember this. So, yeah, don't forget that. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time.